Tony here. I'm going to do a video today on the uh, Easy Go golf cart. I'm going to do a generator, or some call it an alternator, belt change. Also going to do the uh, drive belt change on the centrifugal clutch. So first, I want to uh, go ahead and show you the tools we're going to use for the first part of the job today, which is going to be the alternator uh, slash generator belt change. This job is only going to require three tools. You're going to see here we're going to use the uh, three-fourths deep socket, three-eighths ratchet. I'm going to use here the uh, nine-sixteenths open-end wrench, and then a three-fourths open-end wrench. Just those three tools will get this job completed. Okay, we're going to start uh, first by removing the drive belt. By removing the drive belt, it'll access uh, the generator belt and allow us to take it off when we loosen it up. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get the uh, drive belt off. Okay, your drive belt is located right here. And we're going ahead and remove this first. Uh, so what you want to do, obviously, is uh, set the parking brake down there. Make sure your ignition is turned off. And uh, it's pretty simple to remove this belt. So what you're gonna do, you pull up on it, get a little tension. You're gonna move it to the side here. And then you can just kind of use your hand. You see me moving my hand, pushing it all the way down and sliding it off the actual secondary clutch, okay? And then once you get it off, you wanna reach down underneath of it and pull it off with your hand the rest of the way, okay? And if you give me a minute, I'm, I'm going to need two hands. I'll pull that off and then show you how we get the front. Okay, I'm back. I slid the back off. And then once you slide the back off, the front will come off like so. And uh, it's really that simple. When we get done with the generator belt, which is down here, I will show you how to uh, install uh, this new belt. Obviously, we're not going to use this one. I'm going to replace this belt along with the alternator belt. So give me a minute to get my tools ready, and I'll show you how to do this generator belt. Okay, everybody, now you're gonna see the uh, generator belt right here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, we'll identify there's gonna be uh, two um, bolts that we're gonna loosen. Uh, you'll see down here, the camera in here, right here, this is the tensioner. There's two nuts right here. We're gonna loosen the top nut all the way up, and then we're gonna loosen the bottom nut all the way up, which is then gonna force the generator to push down, which will loosen this belt. But before we do that, on the bottom, let me get my camera under here. You're gonna see right here, a bolt going through this side of the generator and a nut on the other side. So we're gonna get a socket on this side and a wrench on the other side and we're gonna loosen this. And I'll run over and show you the other side too real quick. Okay, from this side, you're gonna see the bolt kind of through here all the way at the bottom. You can see it from here. I'm gonna reposition my camera a little bit more at the bottom so you can see the bottom of the nut. There's the nut right there and I'm gonna put a wrench on that and we're just gonna loosen both sides. Okay, now you're gonna see down here through the camera, I uh, put a wrench on that nut and a little trick is if you can get a ratchet wrench if you have one or a regular, if you put it in that position, as you loosen the other side, that nut's going to want to go down, and it's going to force that wrench to go down. You won't need two people. You can do it on your own. And here's another angle of it. Okay, as I was mentioning, I've got the wrench uh, positioned on the other side on the nut. I've got my ratchet attached here, my three-fourths uh, socket. Now we're just gonna loosen this up and you'll see on the other side, that wrench is pushing against the uh, skid plate. So I'm able to loosen this side much easier and I don't have to have another person on the other side. So this is pretty loose now. So then from here, you're gonna get your uh, 9 16 wrench and you're gonna get it on these nuts that I showed you where the adjuster was. So I'll kind of get that in there for you. You'll see right here. So I got this one loose. It's a little hard to hold the camera and do it at the same time, so I'm gonna set it down, but you'll see here, I can uh, move it with my finger. I'm moving it right now, all the way up. So this is just kind of the locking nut, you'll see now. You've got some thread on there. Now I'm gonna get on that bottom nut. So I get my wrench on there. And I'm gonna loosen this one again, left. And that's gonna loosen that nut up, which is gonna allow us to move the generator. So, 
you can see as I'm doing this, it's a little tedious process, but patience wins in this avenue. Okay, I'm gonna loosen this up real quick with my uh, wrench and then I'll come right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So now what you're gonna see down here is uh, I've got the nuts loosened and now I can move this generator. If you move back up, you'll see me moving it back and forth, okay? So, so I'm moving it all the way down now. So I got some slack on this belt and I'm gonna try to slip this belt off now that I got some slack in it. So you'll see, you can kind of rotate it, put a little muscle on it. Okay, I might have to loosen that a little bit more. Okay, I got it. So you'll see the belt slides right off there. Now that we got the drive belt off, you just kind of loop it through here and then you pull it off. That's how you remove the uh, generator belt. Now I'm gonna grab a new one and we'll reinstall it. Okay, now what you're gonna see here is I did slip the new belt on there. It is in position. And what I'm gonna do now is reverse the procedure and I'm going to tighten this bottom. Right here, I'll show you, get on here. So now I'm gonna tighten this bottom. And as I tighten that bottom, it's gonna raise the generator back like so and tighten that belt. So I'm gonna, oh, sorry, there you go. You see it moving now. When you lift it back, it tightens the belt. So you tighten that nut, it lifts the generator up, tightens the belt. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'll show you the proper torque on that belt. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Got the belt on there, got it tensioned, and I'm just gonna tighten it up. So I wanna kinda show how I like to do it. So you'll see down here, you got your uh, tensioning nuts, and I've, I've went ahead and, and tightened the bottom one, and then tightened the top nut to lock it so it doesn't move. And then I like to have the belt have a little bit of a, about a quarter turn on the belt. So when you turn it, you get about a quarter turn. That's how I like to make sure it's tight. Push it up and down. You want to get about a half inch of movement. Again, everybody has their own trick how to do it. You don't want to over tighten it where you don't have any play in this belt. Okay. I, again, I like to get about a quarter, not more than half when you turn up and down about a half an inch movement. Once you get that and you get it tight, you got your wrench on the other side, so you're gonna have to have a, a partner hold that, or you can use a ratchet wrench and, and flip it, and then you can just tighten this down. You see, I got it pretty tight. Take that off, and then that's gonna conclude the generator belt replacement. So I'll do a uh, separate video on the drive belt next.